you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber what's good what's poppin it's your girl we are back with a hair tutorial okay today i am here with these beautiful butterfly locks these are from the brand Ooh. Let me figure there real quick. These are from the brand Toyo Trust. They are sold on Amazon. I have in the 1B 12 inch. Um, I'll let you see here. Um, the length. So these are the 12 inch 1B crochet butterfly locks from the brand Toyo Trust. Um, this was super easy to do, super easy to install. It took me a while because I decided to like play around and I was taking breaks and stuff, but I think it would have took me maybe a solid 30 minutes to 45 minutes to install all of this. Um, in the video you'll see my braid pattern is trash. Um, and you'll see um, how I install these um, crochet locks. So if you're interested in seeing this video, first, before we even do that, stop what you're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You're here, why not stay? Um, and make sure you give this video a like. Um, and yeah, show your girl some love. Also in this video, there will be a giveaway. So if you would like to hear the rules for the giveaway, make sure you watch this video. It will be somewhere in the video. I'm not going to tell you where it's at, but the rules for the giveaway will be in the video. So make sure you watch through and through. There will be 10 winners for this giveaway. So make sure that you watch the video all the way through. The giveaway rules will be in the video. And then make sure you enter to win because you can win this hair here. Um, this again is the Toyo Tress Butterfly Distress Locks in 1B. Um, and they come in 12 inches and 10 inches. So you can get, you have two different options. So I will link the hair in the description box below. They're actually having a sale, a Valentine's Day sale, um, February 13th to March 11th. So if you don't win the giveaway and you still want to purchase the hair, they are having a sale right now. You can still get a discount on the hair, get you some locks. So again, watch all the way through for the giveaway rules. If you don't want the giveaway and you just want to purchase the hair anyway, they are having a sale. Link in the description box. And yeah, I'll stop rambling. Let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to start with our braiding pattern. I did six straight back braids. My hair is short, so they're not the best, but we did the best that we could. So we're going to keep it pushing. All right, so next is how they are packaged. This is what they come in all in one big baggie, and it also comes with the crochet needle. There are eight individual packs inside of the big bag, and this is how they're packaged. And then inside, they are all looped around this string, and this is how the individual locks look. After I'm done acting a fool, we're going to get back to the braid pattern. So I did six straight back braids. My hair is short, so I use hair to um, add to the braids to make them longer. However, I would suggest doing feed-in braids. I did make the braids a little too thick, and you'll see that later. But this is the basic pattern. And then I sewed the back down to make it flat. Alright, so now we're going to start crocheting. The process is really simple if you've never done it before. You're going to open up the hook, stick it through the braid, put the loop of the lock onto the hook, close the hook, pull it through, and then you're going to open up that loop again and stick the end of the lock through that loop and then pull very gently to tighten it up against the braid. And here's my little lock installed, swinging, okay? And you're literally going to do this all throughout your head so you're just going to keep repeating the same process sticking the hook through loop on the stick pulling it through yada 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 the process is very repetitive you're going to see me do it a couple times if you didn't get it the first time So you'll notice I'm putting space in between each of the locks. How I go through the hair first is I'll do one pack per braid and then um, towards the middle or wherever I have my parts, I'll put the most, making sure there's no gaps in between. And then whatever is left over at the end, I'll go back in and fill in any spaces. This bottom layer is gonna be covered for the most part, most of the time. So I'm not really concerned about it being super thick and super full when I can save those locks for the parts of my hair that are going to be exposed the most. So there's spacing in between these locks and I just used one pack on this particular braid um, just because I wanna save most of the hair for the parts that actually need it. And if you plan on wearing your hair up in a ponytail, make sure you focus a line of those locks along your neckline so that way when you put your hair up in a ponytail that that neck corn roll section is not exposed. So 
So this is one braid all finished. You can also kind of see what the back pattern looks like um, as well. But I'm going to move on to the next braid now. This is full enough for me. And then, like I said, at the end, I'll come back and fill anything in if there's too many gaps. So if you've made it here, then you have made it to the giveaway rules. So I have obviously partnered with Toyo Trust Hair to give 10 winners free Toyo Trust locks. So the rules are as follows. You need to follow Toyo Trust's Instagram at Toyo Trust underscore hair and also be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You also need to be subscribed to their Facebook group, Toyo Trust Everyday Benefits. Then follow them on Amazon at toyotress underscore hair and then comment entered underneath this video and then dm them done for you that is it it may seem like a lot but this is amazing hair 10 winners it's free it can't hurt to enter so if you want to be a part of the giveaway follow those rules um, and be sure to enter it like i said it's free hair can't hurt you and of course, shout out to Toyo Trust for sponsoring this video. These locks are so dope and they were so easy to install. So even if you don't enter the giveaway, make sure that you click the link in the description box to purchase your Toyo Trust hair. And would it really be one of my videos without a cameo from my sweet little angel baby? She always wants to be involved. She always wants to be on camera. So she wants to stop by and say hello. Now I know you're like, dang sis, how do we get here? Your head is almost done. My computer is ghetto and deleted the rest of the footage. However, we're going to keep it pushing. So this is the middle part. As I mentioned earlier, I use the majority of the hair on the sections or the parts of my hair that I'm going to have exposed or where I part my hair. So the middle part and then a side part. So here I am. I'm putting the locks as close together as I can so that there's no gaps in between. So when you see the hair, you don't see the braid pattern underneath. You just see the locks. So that's what I do in the middle part and then I'm going to show you next how I go into the side part section and fill that in as well. So here you'll see why I mentioned doing skinnier braids or maybe like feed in braids because these these locks are thick. They're thick, honey. So having chunky braids kind of creates this raised situation that's going on in the middle. If you don't mind it, cool, but I personally don't like it that much. Um, so that's why I would suggest doing smaller, skinnier braids just so you don't have that raising up. And then here I'm using the extra pieces that are left over from doing the rest of my head just to fill in the gaps. But honestly, I have a really small head, so I really didn't even need to do this. It honestly was too thick. Um, I could have actually taken away some pieces to be quite honest because it was just super full these these locks are super thick super full so if you have a smaller head I would definitely suggest not doing this just unless you're going to wear it in a certain style that exposes the braids because these braids are really full And like I mentioned, I like a side part. So you see me here side parting it. And then you also notice that the side part is full as well as like the middle. There's no gaps, but I'm going back in and I am fixing that little line. You see there's like a really huge space there. So I'm going in, I'm going to fill in that little space. I'm also off camera going to remove some from the actual braid and stick them up a little higher just to take away that gap because Obviously when I was braiding, I couldn't tell what it was gonna look like once the locks were in, but I didn't like that gap. So even though I didn't record it, I did fix the um, gap there and I kind of placed the um, locks on my actual hair and not the braid just to cover that up. So what did we learn when doing our braid pattern class? Put the braids closer together and also make sure that the braids are skinnier when it comes to this style major keys to success to get a flawless install but that is it y'all when i say this was super easy it was super easy here's the before and then we're gonna give you the after once this is looking cute or whatever and as you can see here, I flipped over my part a little bit more to make it a little more casual, a little more relaxed, give it more of a boho feel. But 
overall i don't do locks often i don't do braids often but soil tress made it super super easy to achieve this look and i was super happy with it so please make sure you go give them a follow enter the giveaway again 10 winners it can't hurt to enter and make sure you follow me on all my social media as well bombshell baby um and yeah like comment and subscribe on this video i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next one bye